All right, my friends. So in today's tutorial video, we are going to discuss the creation of this damage indicator module right here. And yeah, so let's begin. Well, as you can see, this module script only consists of the module script, the module script itself. But what you want to do is that you need a server script as well, which is responsible to deal the actual damage and then to require this module script and use the function within. All right. So when we take a look at how this works, you can see that this module script right here only indicates the damage. So it only clones this GY right here. So this billboard GY, which displays attacks and makes your character be highlighted in red. But it does not deal damage or anything okay so the damage has to be dealt within the server script that is very important so this server script right here this is just some funny ass shit i've made to you know show you how this module script works so once the script is created it waits five seconds and then it loops through the players tab so game players get children and then it plays a loop on all of them so on all of these players and waits five seconds again and each five seconds it requires this damage indicator module script right here and then calls this function called show which is the actual damage indication function and then adds some arguments inside of here so the first argument is the character you want to display this damage on and the second argument is the damage which should be displayed and basically what this script does is that it displays the damage each five seconds now yeah now notice how i said it displays it doesn't really deal the damage so if you want to change that you should do the following so first of all we need a variable right here so a damage variable all right so the damage is in between 10 and 30 so any random number in between that and i'm gonna i'm now gonna show you the way and how you can actually combine the damage indication but also the damage dealing stuff all right so this is responsible for indicating the damage. I hope that you have understood that. But if you want to combine it with the damage dealing stuff, now you got to do is uh, you have to refer to the humanoid of your character you want to deal damage to and then do take damage and then just damage, all right? And now when you have both of these right here, it actually creates this illusion of receiving the damage and then having this damage indicated on your character. Now let me show you what I'm talking about. So... Pay attention to the health bar right here. As you can see, I'm receiving damage the moment the damage is being indicated. And that's something which was missing in the last video now. So in the giveaway video from yesterday. But yeah, that's the way how you do it. And now let's move on with the explanation to this module script. All right. So how does this module script work? Now we have this function called show. And as I've told you, it requires the character you want to indicate the damage on and the damage itself. So the damage you want to deal now, first thing which we are creating is called Highlight, all right? So that's an instance called Highlight. And what it does is that it literally highlights your character in red, right? So not only in red, you can also highlight it in, in any other color, in any other transparency. But we have chosen to highlight, it, to highlight it in red, all right? So we are creating it. We are putting it inside of the character. And um, if you want to play around with that instance, means if you want to you know just just see some settings for yourself then be aware because when you right click on a dummy and go to insert object and then try to search for it you won't find it all right and you, you will also not find it when you have this insert object tab right here so you cannot find it that 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 was at least my problem so what you can do is that you go and you go down to this comment bar and then you just write instance a new highlight and then you can write workspace or workspace that dummy depends on where you want to create it into and now just hit enter and as you can see this highlight instance right here has been created i have no idea why roblox doesn't allow us to just insert it via insert object but apparently it doesn't work now you can just see the properties right here by yourself and then just play around if you want to so just change it all right change the transparencies you know just just play, just play around with that so that's just a side note for you guys. But apart from that, what we're doing right here is that we are changing the full transparency to one and the outline transparency to one, making the highlight instance itself fully transparent, all right? And you may ask, okay, why are we doing this? So let me explain. I'm going to explain this later. So what happens right here is that we are changing the outline color to dark red because the highlight instance itself is in red, so the fill the fill area is red itself, all right? And having a little bit dark red as the outline 
in my opinion makes it look very very good but that's just my opinion now why we no why have we set both of these to one down here we have a tween all right and this tween so a tween basically just creates a transition from one state of an instance so let's say you have an instance which has transparency one to another state of this instance let's say you have transparency equals zero so from transparency one to zero it creates some kind of transition so that that's what the tween service does so there are many videos out there which explain tween service in depth i recommend you to watch those if you have no idea on what the tween service is all about now this tween info right here or just the settings for this tween service so we want this tween to happen within 0.5 seconds the easing star should be linear and the easing direction should be out now the repeat count should be at zero and this is very important the reverses should be true all right so it should be reversed that's very important and now this third argument right here so instead of those curly brackets are the goal states you want to achieve so we want to achieve a state of outline transparency equals zero and a state of fill transparency equals 0.5 so remember they were transparent before and now the outline trans uh, transparency is at zero completely while the fill transparency is at 0.5 okay so there is a difference and that's so this right here is creating the effect so when, when we want to take a look into it again it's creating the effect that uh, this highlight instance appears out of nowhere and then disappears out of nowhere again because this this whole thing is reversed all right so it appears from one so transparency one on both to zero and 0.5 and then goes back to one so that's what happens right here all right and after 0.5 seconds we are destroying this highlight instance okay so just the exact amount of time this tween takes to happen now right here we are cloning something called dmg so damage all right so this is an instance which is inside of this script right here so script damage clone and this is the billboard gui as you can see you can clone this and put it inside of your dummy if you want to to you know just customize it because you might not like the font i've chosen or the color i have chosen you know so you can change that up if you want to so this is how it looks like and um, yeah so i don't think that i have to explain on how you can change the stuff so you can just change the font as you one two and once you once you're done just copy this billboard gui and paste it inside of you so, so just replace it with this one that's very important and yeah so after we have cloned it we are putting it inside of our character humanoid root part and then we are setting this indicator text so there is this indicator text label and we are setting the text to minus and then the amount of damage converted into a string all right so the damage is being passed as a second argument and we are now putting, putting everything together right here so minus and then the amount of damage now what happens right here so this is quite interesting in my opinion is that we are setting the size to zero so literally like this all right so that it is not visible wait wait why is it still visible Ah, wrong instance, wrong instance, I'm sorry. There we go. As you can see, maybe you can see this little blue dot right here. So that's how it looks like when this billboard GY is at zero, 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 zero. Okay, so the size at zero, and we are we are setting the position of this indicator billboard GY to something random, right? So minus 15 to 15 divided by 10 so something around minus 1.1 to 1.1 okay on each axis right here so this makes the damage indicator just randomly pop off somewhere around the player or the character you want to deal damage to and then right here we have another tween and this tween now affects the indicator itself so very important with this tween is that yeah, is, is the easing star in my opinion so ha set, having having it set to bounce creates this cool effect of actually having a damage indicator which appears and then goes away okay so that might be something you might take a deeper look into so deeper look into those easing styles if you want to enhance your uh, damage indicator right here because 
there, there might be some interesting easing styles out there which you want to check out to just you know find your own to, to find your own style of this damage indicator and then to just you know just uh make it fit into your game now make sure that this one is reversed as well so that's very important and then remember we have set the size to zero up here now it's time to set the size back to two and two so that's the size i've picked and then we want to make this tween play and after this tween is done we are destroying the indicator and that and that's it all right so there is nothing more to this so it is very very easily made but a damage indicator in my opinion just enhances the gameplay extremely and yeah that being said thank you guys for watching Leave a like, subscribe, share this video to all of your friends. Leave me feedback in the comment section, guys. Take care. See you in the next video. Also, the link to the model is in the description. All right, so check it out.